Welcome back to X plus Y. Here's another viral math problem that's causing controversy. 48 divided by 2 times the quantity 3 plus 3. Simple arithmetic, but people can't agree on the answer. Pause and give it a try. What do you get? A lot of people see this and immediately think the answer is 4. Let me show you the reasoning. Starting with our expression. First step, handle what's inside the parentheses. 3 plus 3 equals 6. So now we have 48 divided by 2 times 6. And here's the key moment where people diverge. There's something about the way 2 is written right next to the 6. No multiplication sign, just 2 parentheses 6. It feels like they belong together. This is implied multiplication, and many people believe it should be done first. So if we do 2 times 6 first, we get 12. That leaves us with 48 divided by 12, which equals 4. That's Team 4's answer. It feels right. It looks right. But is it right? Now, let's look at Team 144's argument, and they have a very different answer. Here's the fundamental rule. Multiplication and division have equal priority in order of operations. They're at the same level. When you see them together, you process left to right. There's debate about implied multiplication, but the formal convention treats all multiplication the same. Starting from the same place, let me make the multiplication explicit. Now it's clear. We have 48 divided by 2 times 6. Following left to right, the first operation is 48 divided by 2. 48 divided by 2 equals 24. Now we have 24 times 6, which equals 144. A completely different answer. And here's the thing. This exact problem has been tested on different calculators and software, and you get different results depending on how they handle implied multiplication. So we have Team 4 and Team 144, both convinced they're right. Both have logical reasoning. What's the real answer? Here's the reality. This problem is viral because it exploits an ambiguity in how we write math. According to modern mathematical convention, multiplication and division have equal priority. So you work strictly left to right. That gives us 144. But the way it's written creates a strong visual suggestion that the two is attached to the parentheses, making many people think it should be treated as a single term. So while Team 4's answer feels intuitive, the formal mathematical convention says 144. Modern calculators follow this standard. Standardized tests follow this standard. But here's the important lesson. This notation is ambiguous and should be avoided in real mathematics. In any serious context, we'd use parentheses or a fraction bar to make the meaning crystal clear. No mathematician would write it this way precisely because it causes confusion. Were you Team 4 or Team 144? Thanks for watching. This problem has caused endless arguments in comment sections everywhere. If you got 4, you're following your intuition. If you got 144, you're following the formal rules. Drop a comment with which team you're on and subscribe for more viral math problems. See you next time.